Seventy years. Seventy. What are the chances of that? Seventy. Not sixty nine years. Not seventy one years. Seventy year reign. And it, it goes down in, in history that this is the or was longest reign of a European monarch. 70 years. A lot of people, there are predators and beings and extraterrestrials on this planet right now, and there are more that's coming on this planet that will be scanning your frequency. And when they scan, when they go to scan your frequency and you're operating on a low vibrational frequency, you're out of here. Gone. Gone. See you later. Because most of humanity at this point, because we are currently under judgment, should be working on the very things such as getting rid of the bags, getting rid of the fear, working on ourselves, you know, so forth and so on is what we're supposed to be doing. We're now in the age of Aquarius. Anybody still doing shit you did back in 2019 and 2022 with all the changes that obviously in your face that's been taking place? If you can't see the energy moving you into a spiritual direction, then you're not matching the frequency. And if you're not matching the frequency, that's going to be a problem down the road for a lot of people if they're not if they're not matching the frequency of Gaia. Because you're not going to be able to ascend if you're not matching the frequency. It just doesn't work like that. And no one ever said what the rules were in terms of how Gaia plans on getting rid of whoever off the planet. You just need to know, don't be one track minded about it, number one, and you just need to know that there's going to be several different things going on on the planet all over the world that's going to be taking place where a lot of people are going to be leaving from here, period. Whether it be, whether it be the sun because of the great solar flash, whether it be we just saw a note, whether it be something else, either way you look at it, it's the, the time is now for the cleanse to take place. That's why Nemesis is here. And I've been telling y'all that that sun in the United States is not the regular sun that I've seen in Mexico. That sun that's in the United States is Nemesis. He said, we are close to the tipping point where global warming becomes irreversible. Trump's action could push Earth over the brink. And by pulling out of the Paris Climate Agreement, Donald Trump will cause unavoidable environmental damage to our beautiful planet, endangering the natural world for us and our children. Hawking was absolutely not kidding around, and when he spoke at the Starmus 4 Festival in 2017, he stressed how important it was that we find a way to colonize other planets if we want the human race to survive. Only the previous year, Hawking predicted that Mankind had only about a thousand years before the planet became incapable of supporting human life, and we needed to find a new place to live pretty pronto. At the time, he was optimistic that mankind would get its act together, but by 2017, he revised his time frame to a mere 100 years. Some might be able to agree it was a rough year, but that rough? Hawking also made some other comments in 2017 that got almost just as much attention. At the Tencent Wii Summit, he predicted overpopulation and the subsequent energy consumption were going 
going to get to an unsustainable point in just 600 years, give or take. Put it all together and he paints a pretty dire picture of our world's future if things continue in the direction they're going. Overpopulation, climate change, energy consumption, artificial intelligence leading to a major war against machines, those are all things humans are doing to ruin the planet. But Hawking has also said there's the chance the end of the world is going to come from something well beyond the control of any human. During his talk after I recorded the, the dream, so I did not even say in the video that it was locusts. So that's one thing I want to point out that I know for a fact that they were locusts now. And the Lord has just been bombarding me lately with knowledge after knowledge about these locusts, okay? And I am going to do another video after this one that you guys have got to see. If you haven't seen my locust dream, you got to see that that dream first. Then see this one. Then see the one that I'm I'm planning to make after this one. And that one's going to take me some time. So I might not get done with that one until later tonight because it's going to be very detailed. But anyway, something that I really left out that was very critical was not just that they was locusts, but that... Also, when I saw these locusts come forth on the earth, what I saw first was this huge black smoke, and the black smoke was accompanied by black rain. And I want to explain that. So there was this huge black smoke. At first, it was daytime, okay? And then all of a sudden, this black smoke, this smoke was so big, it was like an explosion it was so overpowering that it blocked the view from the sun and it turned dark instantly so in this dream i literally saw that the darkness was caused by this black smoke and if you haven't seen my three days of darkness video you probably want to see that too I'll, I'll put that in the description box as well because i explained the three days of darkness this was not the three days of darkness with these locusts i think that the three days of darkness probably happened before this and then it was daytime again and i've said before that the three days of darkness may even be longer than three days of darkness and i explained that in my three days of darkness video which i'll add to the description box and i also had a dream about the three days of darkness i'll add that too so you so you can see that and so anyway this smoke was so huge that it, it overpowered the the, the light from the sun and when I when it happened I also saw this black rain coming down and I saw these locusts come out of this smoke I mean, and it was it was from beneath like the ground it could have been water in terms of what they came out of whether it was the ground or whether it was water honestly I don't know because it was so so much smoke and everything I couldn't even tell if it was a body of water or, or if it was the ground but see my next coming video, because now that the Lord has given me understanding, I understand how these locusts will come on the earth, and I understand why the military was bombing the water, which I didn't understand at all. I was like, why are they bombing the water? It was hardly in my dream, there was hardly anybody in the water. And they was putting these huge bombs in the water. And now I understand why. So you got to see my next video coming up. And I want to say also that I don't think I explained it. When the locusts came out of this smoke, it wasn't like they came out one, two, three, you know, nothing like that. I mean, these locusts exploded out of this smoke. Like um, if you see the movie Eight-Legged Freaks, there's this part in the, in the mall area where the giant tarantula and I'm not recommending that, that you see that movie. Just this is the part I want you to, to hear. This giant tarantula opens up the mall where all the people are at, and then all of a sudden, all these spiders just just bombard into this mall, and they are everywhere in, in like an instant. They're everywhere, and that is how I saw these locusts come. I mean, it was it was night and day. It was night and day. I mean, seriously, like. Honestly, it was like if you are a regular person walking down the street and all of a sudden there's this this crazy darkness and locusts everywhere. I mean, and this is not the first dream. I've had other dreams like this and I included them 
in a playlist. I've seen the zombies. I've seen the destruction. I didn't know why people was turning into these zombies, but I understand it now. And if you see my next video, I will talk more about the zombies as well. God has given me a, a abnormal amount of information. I mean, a lot of information. I wouldn't say abnormal, but just a lot of insight into these locusts. I'm really shocked at uh, what he's been revealing to me. So I'm really going to do it. And I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Did you just hear that? The Bible says the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. That is exactly what I saw. That's exact. It was a smoke that did it. Okay. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. I saw that. And unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth held power. And it was commanded that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And so now I understand, too, because I, I was, everybody was running from these things. I mean, it was hideous. You wanted to stand there and look at them. But they never went after me, and it was other people that they never went after. So, you know, we had the seal of God on our foreheads. And then you can say, too, well, you know, what are people doing with the seal of God on their foreheads? in the earth, you know, but